I can put towards my folder. So I think. <gasps> Holy shoot! Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. Okay, so we did our first house, so let's continue. See what we can do next. Okay, so first up, let's go check our email. Uh, see if we get any more. Okay, so we finished Tammy Wentz and we have identified that there's definitely entities there. So next up is Max Laurent from Polk Street. Okay. Conrad. <laughs> I moved my family into a new house six months ago. Since then, they claim to have experienced strange things that they cannot explain. Seems like they are growing into the belief that our home is haunted. It sounds like... Max is not believing that. Oh, I personally have never experienced anything that makes me believe in ghosts. But my wife and kids have a laundry list of things to say, of things they feel are paranormal. My wife says she has heard sounds of crying in the living room, someone talking, uh, talking to themselves in the laundry area, and footsteps throughout the house. They also claim to have seen a person's shadow creeping along in the hallway. Okay. Is a lot here. My youngest child's bedroom uh, is adjacent to the bathroom. Recently, he's woken up several times in the middle of the night saying that a boy is in his room, scaring him. Okay. He has also mentioned that he's seen an elderly, elderly man lingering in the kitchen. Wow, there's a lot of. <laughs> they have a lot of uh, entities in their house. Personally, I don't believe this and his. Um, this in being the case, well, this being caused by spirits. Sorry, this little thing is. When something falls off the shelf in my garage, I f uh, or I feel a sudden change in temperature, I chalk things up to more rational explanations. Regardless, I would like to resolve this issue for my family. I would, uh, I would know it means a lot to them. Let me know when you're available. We'll check out our home, Max Laurent. Okay, so her husband, the husband is um, not believing this. But he's doing it for his family, so that's nice. Okay, so we've got notes. There's quite a bit of uh, things. So there's a living room. Uh, living room, something talking to themselves in the laundry area. And hallway. Then there's a boy. And and, and in the garage. My goodness, there's, there's a lot. Okay, so let's start with the ones that we know that we want to. Okay, so there's a boy. In the garage, in the kitchen, and uh, talking to themselves in the laundry area. Um, there we go, and in the living room. So I think okay. Did, did we do the boy? Yes. Okay. So yeah, he, um, and the hallway. So we basically one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things. Six proper ghosties. Um, okay. Cool beans. Oh, there's Polk. Okay. You want to investigate? Yes, it's on the other side of the city. Okay. The Lorenz have a bit of contrast within their family about their home being haunted. It's interesting that Max is not convinced, yet the rest of his family is concerned. He also didn't provide any any information stating he debunked their concerns. Sometimes skeptics just want to dispute everything. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Okay, Conrad, let's do this. I just want to see if I can grab some. Wasn't able to. Okay, so my equipment's still all good. Quite a few houses in this area. Okay. Let's grab that. Assuming this is there's a Ah, oh, I thought it was a bicycle. I was about to say, please bring in your bicycle. Okay. We'll start off with this immediately. Is this I don't like the floor. Okay. Uh just as before we are going to identify um the lighting fixtures. I haven't been in this house before, so. Stop. 
that it? I think that's a TV. Yes, okay. Hearing footsteps already. There's a couple of light fixtures there. Okay. There. Oh, there's a TV. The light fixture there. Okay. You see our notes in a uh, boy in bedroom fall okay falls from shelf and garage elderly man in kitchen walking in laundry crying man in living room shadow in the hallway guys yeah. hear that I was just slowing the recording button I assume this is where my phone and it scared me hard. Okay. On the bed. kitchen definitely in the kitchen no where did you go these lights are acting funny I should continue investigating did it did it go in one of the kitchens okay. think that stove is nasty, man. We're not gonna go to garage just yet. So I think I'm going to snoop around a little bit more. So they say they had kitchen and hallway. Okay, so focus on the kitchen for a bit. Just these appliances, we can't trust them here. Oh, no. Oh, and the laundry room. Okay. Is in the basement. Obviously it is. That always makes me feel better. <laughs> I don't know, where did you go? I don't know, where did you go? walk back. Okay, let's take out our that. Let's see what steady so far. I 
nothing to you. Something here, but I don't see any old spots. Do a if oops sorry Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Any EVP again? Don't think this ghost is very active in the world. You might need to just head upstairs. Oh, there's. I don't know. Did you? VMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Is he going upstairs? He's just standing here. If that was me or it was him. The fact that the washing machines are going on and off is freaking me out. Oh, I think it might be the air conditioning, I'm not sure. Head upstairs. Oh, I don't think it's anything here, though. Maybe dropped a little. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Yeah, I thought, Conrad. in this room all normal yeah I'm just I just need to step outside for a little bit <sighs> gather myself <laughs> I'm a little bit tense spirits might find that a little bit <clears throat> intimidating or scary I'm scared, they may be scared, uh, if they're not residual, I mean, something, so, deep breaths, calm down, and here we go. Sneaky. Let's go. Let me open the garage door. 
you. <laughs> Let's explore. Not getting anything. Whoa. Two lights. Okay. Yeah, so, so far. There is no single uh, natural explanation for temperature drops. This is evidence of paranormal activity. Okay, so we don't have any audio because they were spring too, too softly and no photos. There's the boys' room, holes from the shelf, or well, falls from shelf and garage, elderly man in kitchen, talking in laundry that we've heard, crying in the living room, and shadow in the hallway. So I think let's focus getting some chats. Oh. It's a valuable piece of information that we, ad we added to the archival database on the PC, PC at your office. This item may also be automatically unlocked additional relative archival information. While reviewing this article on your PC at the office, you may be able to take notes on this item which would be good which could facilitate investigations. Okay. Maybe we can look for weird things and pieces of paper. Um, I'm going to put on all the lights so that we can piece of it. Marriage certificates. Um, let's see. Here, yeah, right, that on the August 1994, the following persons who by me united in marriage, the fellowship of the Con Church, Hey, Charles and Allen Polk Sheets, license 1994-1994. These are the ones that divorced. Oh, sad. <laughs> you think it's funny? that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Yeah, you. I didn't close that. I also didn't open it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these lights on so that I can look for um, anything Do you want me to come here? And oh, I can check it. Anything here that you want me to? I did not. I didn't close it. What are you doing? Um. Okay. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Yeah, nothing. Let's just look around. Oh, sorry, don't want to do that. I'm not snooping. Well, kinda. Just gonna see if there's any evidence or things that I can put towards my folder. So I think. <gasps> Holy shoot! Incredible a photo of an entity. Oh man! Oh, I 
think it, I think she played piano. Oh man, okay, sorry. Whew. That scared me. <laughs> oh yeah. Just opening things again. Okay, so we've got a photograph taken. Obtained significant audio evidence of the paranormal activity. At first I thought that still playing with the thing. Um at this at first I thought I, there was nothing. Um but I do think the dad is incorrect. This definitely paranormal. TV. Definitely. There's a constant whistling now. Old card down report card. Alan. Satisfactory, unsatisfactory. What happened? Look at this. Like reading a okay B A A A. Personal growth and development. Music F. Applied spelling. Satisfactory, and then all of a sudden, no. I think it could be then when they moved in. He's getting a little bit cross with us. Just go and see if there's anything else that we can see. While she's playing with the, the door. Nice painting. I don't know what this, where's that sound coming from? Like a, a chime sound? I don't know where it's coming from. Are you having fun there, miss? Opening and closing. I might just... Turn this light on as well. Let's see, they are not too bothered by the light. I'll keep that as audio evidence. What that? Wow, that's great audio evidence. I think that was a get out. Wow, that's great audio evidence. You can review that in the follow up. Just lock up here. Can't keep things open. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put off all the lights. Um, That's extraordinary audio evidence. We need to review that. That was very soft. I wanted to know what they said. Um, turn this off. Probably gonna open the door again. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Yeah, that they are going nuts now. Oh, there we go. Thank you for your cooperation. 
Sorry if I disturbed you. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Done. That was successful. That was a very long investigation. Um, I think after a while they got a little bit more used to me after I played on the piano. Um, I don't know if they liked it. One, one of them did giggle though. There was one. Um, it was a woman. Um, crying in the living room. We got talking. I think it was the laundry ghost. She giggled. Uh, the woman crying just cried. <laughs> I don't think she liked it at all. Um, anyway, let's go home and review what we found. Yeah, audio 16. Hmm. And a picture taken. Beautiful. Okay. Got experience points? 100. So, um, this place is... <laughs> this place is definitely haunted. We've seen the apparition. It's a thing. <clears throat> okay, so I want to hear... I just want to go back and uh, listen, audio. Uh, location. What? What is this? Don't know what that is. Oh, that that robot I definitely that I heard. <clears throat> Get out. Mm hmm Wish she'd leave. Wish she'd leave. <laughs> Wish she'd leave. Oh, I didn't hear this. Oh, sorry, that was loud. I'm glad we left when we left, because I think they were getting very irritated with me. Like, sincerely. Um, treading in deep water. Duckies. Plastic. Anyway, guys, if you like this, please comment, share, and subscribe. Um, <laughs> I like this game. It's not like a kill me the game, and I, I've got patience with this. And I can explore as long as I want. Anyway, let me know if you like this, and um, then I will see you again on the next one. Bye!